Our daily Bible reading for February 10th. Our reading today comes from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 23. We'll begin reading in verse 27 down through verse 39, the end of the chapter. Beginning in verse 27. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you are like whitewashed tombs, which outwardly appear beautiful, but within are full of dead people's bones and all uncleanness. So you outwardly appear righteous to others, but within you are full of hypocrisy and lawlessness. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites! For you build the tombs of the prophets and decorate the monuments of the righteous, saying, If we had lived in the days of our fathers, we would not have taken part with them in shedding the blood of the prophets. Thus you witness against yourselves that you are sons of those who murdered the prophets. Fill up, then, the measure of your fathers. You serpents, you brood of vipers, how are you to escape being sentenced to hell? Therefore I send you prophets and wise men and scribes, some of whom you will kill and crucify, and some you will flog in your synagogues and persecute from town to town, so that on you may come all the righteous blood shed on earth, from the blood of the righteous Abel to the blood of Zechariah, the son of Berechiah, whom you murdered between the sanctuary and the altar. Truly I say to you, all these things will come upon this generation. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, the city that kills the prophets and stone those who are sent to it, how often would I have gathered your children together as a hen gathers her brood under her wings, and you were not willing? See, your house is left to you desolate. For I tell you, you will not see me again until you say, Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. A few thoughts for today. We find today's verse in the midst of a scathing rebuke of the religious leaders of the day. The woes that Jesus levels against the Pharisees and scribes are harsh and unrelenting. They follow on the heels of a question in chapter 22 in an effort to see if they really understand who the Messiah is. When they cannot ascertain that the Messiah comes through David but is, in fact, of God, they are silenced and do not again question Jesus. Their inability to recognize the Deliverer whom they had so long waited for is too much. Jesus further lays on them the guilt of all the prophets slain from the beginning of time until then. A seemingly harsh sentence given them, until you realize that it is not just a prophet they are about to kill, but the Son of God. The very one they have awaited will now be the focus of all their hate and anger. For this they will be held accountable. Not just them, but the entire generation will perish because they rejected the Holy One of God. The leaders of the day will pursue those who follow Jesus as well. They will hunt them like animals, thinking they are doing good. Jesus tells them in John 16, too, They will make you outcasts from the synagogue. But an hour is coming for everyone who kills you to think that he is offering service to God. How often is it then when we consider how brutish that Jesus was treated that we ourselves might have treated him different? Perhaps we would do better to remember the Jews of Jesus' day thought they would have done different themselves. A rather sobering thought. A question of the day. What do you think would be your thoughts if you heard this sentence given against you? And finally, a thought to meditate on this day. Does a passage like this cause you to be less judgmental of those who think differently from you? And those are our thoughts for today, February 11th.